Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is the data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Today we are going to see another part of SVM. Actually, another function of SVM we are going to see. Not function. How SVM can be different uh, deployed in a different manner. Yeah. So now we are going to use a linear SVC. Nothing but linear support vector classification over here. So here what and all we have used. It is nothing but NumPy, CV option, sklearn, matplotlib. Okay, so from sklearn itself, we have taken many kinds of uh, importings over here. From sklearn itself, we have some sample data set generator and the model selection. It is nothing but a train test split function for the model. And for algorithm here, we are using SVM. And the metrics here, we are used to calculate the confusion matrix. Uh, so therefore, uh, we have just applied this kind of uh, library. So all the libraries are imported. And here we are creating a uh, class. The class name is SVM. So inside the class, first we are creating the function for fitting. So model dot fit you might have seen in the previous code. So that particular function is nothing but fitting. So for that, how we are going to apply means we are going to read the shape of the complete data. Okay. So whatever the data we are providing as input, it will be taken into the X self X and Y. So from that, uh, all the data will be splitted into uh, according to its shape. So all the shape, the shape is nothing but the size of the array only. That is only known as shape. It also can be set as uh, how many length of data set. Then here uh, we are just completely using it as n underscore samples and n underscore features, two variables for it. So if we apply any of these one variable means it will be able to call the complete data over there. Then using numpy zeros, so collecting the data in the matrix function. Okay, so for that only here we are using that uh, numpy zeros, and therefore whatever the shape value of x here it has been displayed. So when that particular x dot shape will be activated means only when the x gets value over there. Okay, because these are the parameters for input purpose. Then this particular uh, zeros value will be shared inside the k. So this K we are going to define into two sets. One is I and another one is J. So from this particular I comma J, it is nothing but it stands for rows and columns. So both the side we are taking that N underscore samples. Here it automatically uh, determines that particular input or generated value for the samples or let it be for features for both of them. So from that here we will be taking set of values as x of i and a set of values as x of j. So what are the values in x that is only splitted over here and the same values only here also we have splitted. So once whenever we go for this, the rows and columns are defined in the form of np dot dot function. So that np dot uh, dot means it is nothing but in the form of separation. So that separated values will be highlighted in the form of array. Then after that, uh, we will be applying the cv x op. So this particular function, it is used to do convert. So the conversion will be taken from the normal way to the matrix because all that particular functions, whatever we use, it should be in the matrix. Even though that numpy uh, zeros, ones, all these functions will be working in the form of matrix. Those are taken in the form of array. So whatever that input value, which is generated in the form of, uh, from that particular uh, sample generator here, it will be completely applied in this section. Just a moment. So this particular uh, CV dot X opt, it is for the conversion purpose from the calculation part. So these are the different variables which you are collecting and it is being converted. And finally, it has been stored inside the solution. So here, whatever we are using, it is in the same, uh, same as the normal mathematics, like uh, Lagrange multipliers, as well as intercepting the data. So it will be completely looking like a probabilistic and uh, statistics oriented subject only because it completely works based on that particular functions only. Let it be any kind of uh, algorithms for machine learning, including deep learning, all algorithms, it completely based on that uh, mathematical subject. So after that Raglanji application, here we will be applying the intercept section. Uh, here, uh, I am also a little bit max, uh, weak in max. So what I will be uh, doing means I will be just explaining only the coding part instead of the mathematical part. So inside the Lagrange G, 
here we are going to uh, multiply that particular initial layer whichever has been obtained through the solution so that will be multiplied in the power of one exponential of minus five so from that particular data here we will be arranging the data with that uh, length so how much data are there means that much data will be taken and that much data will be separated by using the self function so self function it is defaultly available inside the python for separation purpose then after this lagrange here we will be applying the intercept and from there the weights so intercept is nothing but to define the two different separated parts and weights are nothing but whatever the trained part of this particular machine learning so it will be taken only in the form of weights so let it be the name label or the data anything everything whatever we are training in uh, machine learning deep learning everything it is stored inside the weights only whenever you are running any of the uh, machine learning a predefined data means you will be having uh, a weights file dot weights so that is particular application what was outer function where the outer function is mentioned here there is no outer function at all i am saying it is inbuilt function self is actually a inbuilt function okay so in q q q there is no such one this q only you are mentioning i hope yeah this p and this p now these are all defined variables only this is nothing but to convert each and every value into matrix so here as well you can see the convenience optimization into the matrix section or oh, this one see np dot outer or np dot ones or np dot zeros everything is similar okay so whatever the samples we are collecting or we are providing as input those particular data should be in the form of numerical python array so it will be known as the outer sections so the outside part of that particular array zeros in the sense in the form of matrix the eigen value of the matrix ones in the sense the first place so like this for kind of function only here we will be working with numpy the first order second order third order like that so after that we are uh, declaring two another functions like uh, define project and as well as define predict so for both we are using that particular x axis only sorry x values only and therefore we will be creating the blobs so whatever the data that has been provided as input it will be created in the form of blob so for both x and y so totally 250 samples and there are two centers for the 250 samples so here random state we are taking zero and uh, cluster only for uh, 0.6 we are taking as input so therefore whatever that particular y value it will be the inverse of that particular y equal to 0 okay so whatever we receive because uh, whenever we are taking the two datas like x axis and y axis so that particular x axis it normally takes a in an order so y axis means here we have to read the same y axis from first so for that purpose here we are converting into the inverse so that's why y will be taken in the form of inverse so from the top a numbers will be displayed in the last and therefore next we will be creating the temporary section for uh, x values and therefore we will be plotting it okay so x of 0 and x of 1 is plotted so now here we are going to take the sections so here x is con considered as the train as well as test of one part y is considered as another train and part of the another part so here the train test out of the 250 uh, sample set here that particular train uh, train data and test data will be automatically splitted for that reason only here we are using train test split so in upcoming uh, codings you will be seeing many of this kind of application okay so for that we will be applying this train and test split so what and all the values we will be training and testing means x value and y value and so here we are calling our svm so this is user defined the variable this is the function the name of the function okay so here we are calling our svm and with this svm we are fitting the model so first we are taking only x train and y train okay so after that the other function is also created can you even say what is this function any idea as we are taking the inbuilt data so here only we will be taking that entire data sections okay because for whatever that particular coefficient value which we are going to take so it is defined here earlier itself so here whatever the values we have taken for x train 
and Y train, that particular data will be plotted in this format. Okay, so SVM sections for each and every variable. So this is nothing but the coefficients. Uh, before coefficients, we have to uh, calculate that particular SVM for each and array. So that particular section only it is done. So now almost both the data set has been splitted. Okay, so now we are going to predict predict the y value by using x te test value and finally the confusion matrix will be displayed for y test and y prediction because uh, y testing is already taken that is nothing but the data set of the test and y prediction now we have obtained so from x test value so this is then confusion matrix for that particular purpose okay so finally we are going to uh, get into the support vector classification so from that SVC, we are taking the linear SVC and fitting the model of train values X and Y. And here we are creating the hyperplane. I think now Mr. Harshonli has asked me the doubt. So can you see the same formula? There is no change. And here only we are applying our intercept and all. Okay, so by using hyperplane, the data has been separated. So this particular portion is called as hyperplane. This dotted lines are eigen of hyperplane. Okay, so now we are going to predict once again the Y prediction using X test value. Previously, it has been done with the help of the same thing only. Actually, it must be train value. Then only we will be able to compare. Okay, so here uh, the train value is not separated properly. I think only 250 samples are there. So the same way, here we are going to take the prediction once again and the same values only over here. Okay, so in this way only the support vector classification will be splitted into the complete analysis for support vector machine. You kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.